Can I describe the way that you walked into the room Sunday night? You watched your usual Sunday football fantasy extravaganza. I would go about all extravaganza. I watch football. Every Sunday from yeah. dusk till dawn. Like probably 60, 70% from, of the country. From dawn till dusk. Yeah. And I left you alone. I right? stuffed my face. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, again, you, got you left me alone. Dunkin' Donuts, dozens you of You left me alone, but donuts. on Friday, you took off here I in the afternoon. A- you were gone all day Friday, all, all night Friday. You were gone all, all day Saturday. You came back. Then you went out to dinner for your friends and gallivanting. Hey, hey. I held you down all weekend. The least I deserved is the Sunday back. So it's This not is like, such a broken record. I yeah. Uh, you, I'm just you, saying. You, so you ordered like 12 donuts. I ordered got, a dozen. It's not like 12. It's a dozen donuts. <laughs> and a box of the round little ones. The, the munchkins. For, yeah. Little munchkins. Absolutely. <laughs> for the little guy. No way. Our kid is not going to wake up and eat donuts. Yeah, he had, not he had like that. five of them. Anyway, my point is that after a beautiful long day of immersing yourself in football. And stuffing my face. Because they go hand in hand. Like I eat like a fat fuck on Sunday. And your stomach comes out really big. Yeah. And you walk into the room. And I'm really, really sore. Like my muscles are lactating. From, yeah, you ran a 5K. From the run, which by the way, no sob stories because that's what I was doing when I wasn't here. So stop it. So anyway, you Who's walk in, stuff? you look at me and I'm like, there's my man. Long day. I missed him. And you just go. Oh, that is, what's that? You farted. No, 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 no. That was a the queef. The first time I see you I after queefed. a whole day, you walk in and then you burped. That's your hello to me? Yeah, that was an, an ass burp. Because I know you guys tell us that men and you guys are listening as couples a lot. <gasps> Don't ever, ever, ever walk into a room and fart or burp instead of saying as a hello, as a greeting to your girlfriend, the your wife, did it. your honey, your That's sweetheart. How the did it. Long story short, I couldn't have been more disgusted. <laughs> but then she went to bed with me. <laughs> Guys, the holidays are upon us. I can't believe that Thanksgiving 2021 is right now in a couple of days. My mind races during this time of year because there are so many different things to keep track of, so many different people that you're suddenly accounting for. Don't you feel like you just want to make everybody happy? I don't necessarily feel like I want to make everybody happy. I feel like it should be a happy time, but I'm not trying to you know, bend over backwards to make sure everybody's happy if you know, some people are just miserable. We know for sure it is a very stressful time for everybody. It goes without saying that everybody, whether you don't give a fuck, there's definitely pressure there in every direction. I mean, my mind is racing right now just thinking about it, which is why this episode is going to be dedicated to Thanksgiving. Everything we're grateful for, very important things that we're all going to have on the brain. Thanksgiving's my favorite holiday. It's definitely- It's your favorite food holiday, that's for sure. Yeah, that's also why it's my favorite holiday. There's football, there's food. I thoroughly enjoy Thanksgiving. You're going to be wearing your um, extender waistband clothing? Sweatpants. Everything expandable? Absolutely. Absolutely. (laughs) Really classy to join up. Sweatpants and a t-shirt with turkey gravy on it. Oh, God. For me, it's a time to take inventory on all the nice serving dishes we have, ironing out the dinner napkins. What color do I want to wear at the dinner table? Is it going to be like a pumpkin or is it going to go straight to like Christmas red, sexy V-neck? Like, what am I doing? I have like the lists, like who are we going to see? Who aren't we going to see? So Cooking, many. not cooking. I mean, out. I even thought out. about it. I was like, should we have made a reservation in a restaurant and just gone in? And then two hours later, just done? I did that once at uh, the Four Seasons in Beverly Hills. That's funny. Me and my dad and my mom did too. It was phenomenal. It was delicious. Was it a buffet? Yeah. Yeah, but it was top-notch buffet, bro. I don't know what top or notcher you can get then Four Seasons. Yeah, exactly. It was The Ritz-Carlton. My parents did that one year. It was really, 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 really delicious. I can't, uh, you know, because I'm someone that's, uh, I, I like to do it at home. I like to cook. I like to have the leftovers, but- 
I'm not going to poo-poo doing that because it was delicious. I've seen you get really mad when my relatives took like a big serving of Tupperware home of yes, your leftovers. I do not like that. I do not like that. I do not like that. <laughs> you do not I do want like them that. to take I get a lot of tins. Much. I have metal tins. You know what I mean? You could take the tins home and it was your mother that was just giving it out willy-nilly and she usually never does that. Oh, but she's she was, very territorial over leftovers. Yeah. She gets and, big mad. Like she gets really mad at me and she's like, you gave them all of that. Uh, she all gets of pissed, that. bro. She gets pissed. She really does. You, and But I mean, like in our culture, Culture, like we're supposed to be generous with everything. Nah, you're way too liberal with the Tupperware, bro. You're way too liberal with it. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to get rid of you're it. Like, yeah, you do like you're cleaning out the house. Literally, there's nothing left. And then you don't have any leftovers really because you don't have any Tupperware to put your leftovers in. It's almost a fight that's ready to happen on uh Thanksgiving. When I am coming. so lucky that I don't love Thanksgiving that much. Like I love you don't mac care. and cheese. But you I mean, can eat that, that like all year. That's what she'll say. Yeah, yeah, I love mac and cheese. Like, oh, I love, cool. yeah. I love mashed potatoes. But yeah. I have a, we, you know, we can go to an El Pollo Loco and get it like pretty much any day. Of the week. Yeah, you, for, on Thanksgiving, you could go to Jack in the Box and come home with something, or to KFC and come home with something that my wife would be like, "Happy Thanksgiving!" You know, something it we, definitely does not work for me. There's the deep fried turkey trend that people started a little while ago. I don't know if we've ever yeah, ventured that. down that route. I'm not doing that. I know how I want my turkey. But you said KFC. Now my mouth is watering. <sighs> yeah, I know. So but, yeah, you definitely do not. I care. don't need. I I like the red stuff, the cranberry sauce, but I don't need it. I don't need green pea green beans that nah, often. Not, you don't. You don't go crazy. It's not. It's not your type of holiday. You got upset when we went to my mom's house and there was Persian food there on Thanksgiving. Well, no, I I was expecting that that's all there was going to be. I was actually pleasantly surprised that they had regular stuff at Thanksgiving. I thought it was going to be all Persian food. No, they they had you know regular Thanksgiving. By regular, My, you what mean? I was upset about was that we got no leftovers walking out of there. That they ate everything. You snooze, you lose. The yeah, so we gets came home. And I, uh, I, I got everything again. I made a, I made a new Thanksgiving the next day. Oh my God, you really did. That's and my, you know, the leftovers is what I like. It's not even about the day of. It's you're really actually the next day. You get greedy with the leftovers, oh, like 100. You want more leftovers than you're capable of eating before they go bad. Anytime we're talking about leftovers, Thanksgiving, we're talking about acts of war. If uh, you waste leftovers, or you take too many, or too much Tupperware, these are all things that might result in you know us having a wrestling match on the front lawn. These are principles that I live by on Thanksgiving. I'll wrestle you in the front yard in front of everyone. I will dominate you. I mean, I won't need to do it over the food, but I'll wrestle you in the front yard. Let's do it. Make a scene. Yeah. You love Invite the neighbors. Scenes. Loves making scenes. Staple, you guys love making scenes. Staple some notices on the uh, on the light poles. Speaking of scenes, remember when we had the, one of the Thanksgivings that we had? It was actually on Shaw's. Oh, God. Where they filmed it, and we were at uh, Sherman's, Sherman's house. house. Sherman made all the food, or he ordered it out. I don't remember. I made a duck. The duck should have been the only thing that they talked about on that fucking episode because it came out duck fucking phenomenal. Duck doesn't have phenomenal. any meat. Yeah, your mother ate that duck by herself, I think, in a closet at the house. But <laughs> <laughs> oh the, God. Gigi and Layla, like, they got into it, dude. They got into, like, full-fledged screaming fight. And I'm sitting there just off to my, uh, my lowest, just watching it. And out of your, nowhere, your mother's coming and they're screaming and she don't give a shit. She's got this bucket. It's a traveling bucket that she travels around with. Like when she goes to houses and oh there's going to be food, she's got this bucket that she goes around with. And she's just packing the bucket up it's full of leftovers. It's not a bucket. It's, it's a Tupperware that happens to be deep like a bucket. It's a bucket, bro. <laughs> it's a, I'm telling you right now, someone could play drums on that thing outside of a subway station for money. It's a bucket. It might be like a five-gallon bucket. Yeah, it's not a drum. I'll, I'll say that. It's not a drum, but it's a bucket oh and uh i still have the video i laugh at it all the time because you just see don vita not giving a shit she don't care about what's going there could be a gunfight you know what i mean just, 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 just don't shoot my bucket you know what i'm saying she don't care no what, and it's she hilarious took it upon herself to be like wait 
everyone's watching that yes, showdown. Yes, everyone's doing all this. I'm no gonna one's going to notice that percent. I can basically clean out this a table. A million percent. I can go and this I can get the pick of the litter. I'm not going to be crowded around me. I can get exactly. That's a million percent what she's thinking. You can keep seeing her constantly look up her eyes like to make sure that no one comes back to the table. Bro, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. She loves the white meat, turkey, and all the sides. Yeah, we're on the same page. Darth Vita and I on the same page with our approach to Thanksgiving. And the last thing I want to say about the food is that I know you're going to make a Bobby roll with all the Thanksgiving stuff. You like to put all Stuffing, the stuff on a table cranberry sauce, into gravy. a soft bread roll. Delicious. And then you're going to watch football. What more in life could you want? Literally, not even me. Not, a, not a lot. Or your not son. A, hang out with the little guy a little bit. We'll see how he is with the, obviously, last year, Thanksgiving. You know, he was more of a bag of potatoes than anything else. This year, he'll be involved. I'll see what whether or not What are you going to have him involved Doing what? No, I mean, just He's like. He's going to want candy. With the food. That's, yeah. He, He'll that's have ice food. cream. He does bear Econ his pie father's a cross. I love candy. And the little guy loves candy. The little guy doesn't like meat, so. Yeah, I got to see. I want to see how he reacts to the courses at Thanksgiving because those are right in my wheelhouse. Stuffing, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, cream corn, corn on the cob. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to eat that shit right fucking now. But I'll tell you what's funny, though. Like, I love this food so much, but I eat so much of it in the next week that after it's over, I'm like, get this shit away from me. Like, I don't even want to go near it for the next week. I'm like, uh, oh. Ooh, uh, I am frothing at the bit. I am licking my chops. I feel like I should make some plans. That Yeah, you can go wherever the fuck you want. I'll be at home manging. <laughs> Aside from the food, for heaven's sake, what the holiday is all about is being grateful. It's about gratitude. It's the end of the year. It's not Christmas yet. It's not December yet. We're about to have... But shout out to the healthcare workers and all the other people that keep things on and open and doors open so that we can take the four days off. But most of us are going to be at home for a long holiday in airports. I hope, you know, good luck and Godspeed to all the people who have to travel for the holidays. And also, like, I start to think about my New Year's resolutions. I mean, it's a really crazy time. Yeah, I definitely the worst time. The worst time to start your diet. If you want like a 99% chance of failure, is there anybody to say, you know, I'm going to start my diet Thanksgiving Day. That's what I'm going to start. Get away from me, you loser. Babe, do you believe that this is going to be our seventh Thanksgiving together? I do. An eternity, right? It feels like or no? Mm, I'll say this. I'm not nervous as I used to be because I think that the really, really nerve wracking part is. Well, I do the cooking. You don't do anything. To each other that we can manage and survive a holiday together because holidays are stressful. And I do all the cooking. And even though Thanksgiving is supposed to be a time of gratitude, we really start to get really stressed out because. You, you know who I get grateful and appreciative of it this time of year? Terry Maguire? No, your Oops. mother, because she's grateful and appreciative for how hard I work in the kitchen to cook everything. You're not, because you don't care. Like I said, you need KFC. You could give a shit. That's so, not true. It's so true. But It's so true. Every year, for at least for the last three years, I know for certain the last two, she's actually admonished you at points where you've been like, man, 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 and she's like, you listen, you watch him. He's doing all this. He's doing all the work. He's doing, making all the food. He's trying to make everything nice. And she's had to check you because you, you know, like I said, you're ambivalent. You don't, turkey, ugh, you don't care. What you're talking about is you want to see what does each person do for, how do you plug yourself into being useful your job, rightfully so, is that you cook everything. I'm talking about decorating, organizing who's coming. I'm thinking about this as a family event. I want this to be successful where sometimes we're like having people over that aren't always going to get on well together. There's been big fights at Thanksgiving dinners. 
There's been people who have no longer spoken to each other. My mom and my uncle's wife stopped talking to each other on a Thanksgiving because of the fallouts that happened because of the stress. Stress and fights come because we're not prepared emotionally. So I'm sorry that you want to focus on the food, which I respect. That's all I care about. I get that. That's it. But I I don't care about the pageantry. I don't care about the plates. I don't care about what we're wearing at the table. I just care about stuffing my face. I care about- forefathers. I care about the family coming together. Yeah, no, that's great. Coming together to stuff our face. I care about the people who don't have family but live in LA, so I want to make them feel included. I want to think about what kind of like people that were like, which family members that I don't see that often are going to come. I do want it to be pretty. I do want to have a photograph that's going to commemorate the memory of all of us getting together. Like never would we have thought that this Thanksgiving would have been our last to celebrate with people. I mean, this is the the reality of the world we live in. So I get sentimental. I get sentimental. Well, everybody does around the holidays. It's part of it. It's all about nostalgia. It's all about what you do, what your traditions and things like that. And you're kind of coming together and you're kind of evaluating, you're summarizing your year. Yeah, there's that too. I think that's more towards the the, the end of the year, the new year. Holidays are for getting together, stuff in your face. Like you said, sometimes a little too much, you know, there's people who don't like each other. You get some of that, you know, alcohol gets involved. You get someone to, you know, telling you what they really think. Actually, there was... The one time we gave my mom a screwdriver and we told her it was just regular orange juice. Yeah, she thought it was And bad. she, she gulps, gulp, 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 yeah. gulp, gulp down People that don't whole understand. Yeah, glass. You don't understand. And she's a lightweight. But if, she eats and drinks like a college that? student, bro. So if like, we see my mom this year, God willing, we will see her. And I think it's fair to say that we're going to have to start figuring this out. What you guys don't know is that my mom's birthday, which was last month, we got into a little kerfuffle. It wasn't pleasant for any of us, but now a month later, here we are at the holidays. And I mean, I'm not fitting to see my family separated on the holidays, especially when we're all supposed to be appreciating each other. But last month when my mom and you, when we got into it, I was like, Thanksgiving is going to be too soon for me. I'm not going to be ready. Well, I'm now listening. it's Thanksgiving, and we know damn well I she hasn't changed since since since, since you she know. hasn't changed, yeah. and nor am I gonna put my mom on an island. No, nor should she be. You know, like nor should she be, and nor would I have the heart to. And let's but bear let- in mind, like this is the thing: everyone's got stuff going on. We actually got a couple of topical things that I love to like that that we're not alone in this. Listen, we're skirting today. around the point. This is the bottom line. Darth Vita, we both love her very, very much. She's old and she's stubborn in her ways to a certain extent. But we have a kid now. And it's very, she has a way of talking to people that could be very, very rude. That and maybe it, nobody is, yeah. No, it just is what it is. You've seen it, you know what I mean? Just imagine them when they're And sometimes it's cute for people like that, you know, are, but watch, sometimes it ain't. are watching it. But sometimes it But if it's directed yes. at you, you know, sometimes people are like, oh my God, your mom tells it like it is. Then, but it's like, yeah, well, she what told if you like it was. You, yeah. Then you're not going to be feeling like, yeah. ah, this is so, she's so sassy. Yeah. Or if she's someone you cared about or someone you know or someone that you work with and she, you know, she if you're in the verbally line of fire, undresses you like that. If you're in the line of fire. We have a kid. We got a little guy. And it's a family time. What, what do it's they a, say it's about a family that? family holiday. What do they say about little drawers have big ears? What is it? There's a phrase, you know, there's a phrase about little kids that they, they hear a lot and they see a lot. Now, I curse a lot. I got to own that there's things that we have to learn about to be better around our kid and the same thing goes with her she's gonna have to know how to talk to people respectfully you know and i know she's capable of it she worked at a job where she had a supervisor she had co-workers you can get there there was customers you know it was bloomingdale she had hr yeah she wasn't walking around telling people she you know giving her a piece of her mind all day long like she had to work in the environment of the customer is always right always right so that that's one of the last bastions of places yeah. it's not like that everywhere anymore <laughs> but that's one of the last bastions of places is the mall what's the word bastion yeah that's one of the last places where you're gonna have the customer being right yeah they don't even want to hear the other side if there's a complaint like you said immediately like my grandmother did the same thing she sold 
Sheets in A&S, which eventually was by Macy's. Just a different department, but it's the same thing. She knew how to behave herself at work, so she should be, should be able to behave yourself when you're around other strangers too. And she doesn't take well to criticism, like a lot of people I know. She has a venomous streak in her, man. She does. My wife does too. Can I, can I tell you what I'm thinking about right now? Sure, go ahead. I am envying those people who go to like the Caribbean islands during Oh, for sure. Like, for what sure. about those people that are like... For sure. Sure, but Fuck the problem is we can't is leave her. Turkey. We can't leave her. And she's she's well, by herself. I think the family people that decide that they're like like Craig and Danielle, are they gonna be around a table with their family or are they gonna be in Cancun? No, but there's still enough family that you know, if they I don't know what their plan is. If the, there's still enough well, family my around mom will for go them. To Sherman's house there's for still enough family around for them that if they decided to go do something like that, then it, you're not I'm sure my mom could she's, go. That's the other part too. She's because of her verbal tactics or because because of the way she could be, she doesn't really have a lot of people out there besides us. So it's even more of the reason that she needs to be nice. I didn't tell you this, but just for a backup plan, I'm revealing this to you right now. Mm. I made us a reservation for just the four of us. And if you I don't want, hate that idea. I don't hate that idea. If you want to exercise the option. I don't hate that idea. I actually think it will, you know, there's still going to be a level the... of tension between all of us from that. The kid alleviates a lot of that tension, but if we were here in this environment, I don't know, man. I think it might be better, especially this is going to be the first time that we've all seen each other since that, that if we go out to eat, we stuff our faces, chow down, but at the same point in time, we could go our separate ways or, you know, if she does come back with us that night, it's just that night. I don't know, man. This is, this is up to you. I'm kicking the ball to you. When family is in this position, the upside to this is that the food is a beautiful distraction. Like everybody who is like you and my mom, who's thinking about the food and nothing else. Yeah, we you meet, guys we meet on go that level. in. You guys are going to be in a really good mood as long as somebody's going to be put in some turkey in front of your faces. Yeah. And then the tryptophan in the turkey is going to knock you guys out and you're not going to have the energy to argue. Plus, uh, let's call a spade a spade. You got to really fucking be bad in the kitchen to mess up Thanksgiving. That's not true. Turkey is very... I'm difficult. not talking about if you're going out to a restaurant. I'm saying if you're going to a restaurant, believe me, they know how to make Thanksgiving. It's all timing and attention for the most part. I think that if we go out, it's going to be good. I will say this. If we exercise our option to dine in a beautiful restaurant, that way it's in, it's out. We can even take a lot of the pressure off of you. So we could go to a Thanksgiving dinner in a beautiful restaurant around noon we could be home. We could even like pre-cook, like a little like mini Thanksgiving. I didn't just think, I'll miss the games. I'll miss the games if we go out to eat. Maybe we should go at like 11, like the first seating. Yeah, but we got to figure that out now. It's in a few days. Yeah. It's in a few days. We've I was going to go shopping Got to get these wheels tomorrow. to turn in. I was going to go shopping tomorrow. The Tuesday is actually better than the Monday. For those out there that want to go shopping for Thanksgiving, if this is your first Thanksgiving and you don't know, just to give you a heads up, if you want to go shopping for any of the ingredients, the best day to do it is Tuesday. It's not Monday. It's certainly not fucking Wednesday. It's the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Oh, really? Where'd you hear that? I've done it. I've done in the Reader's shopping. Digest? No, I've done the shopping. You I know. You know this like cross you're nailing yourself to is not a vibe. I want to hang out with on I've Thanksgiving. I've done the shopping. What do you mean? I've done the shopping. What cross? I've done the shopping. I'm telling people Tuesday's the best day to go. Also, I've already invited some of our family. All right. So how? So then how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? TBD, man. TBD. Yeah, we'll man. talk about it. We'll figure it out. Oh, man. I'm so looking forward to it. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what the plan is. I know that we can't leave her alone. I know that she's stubborn as hell. The reason why Thanksgiving is so important to me is because it is going to set the tone to the way that we end the year. We're always going to ask each other, where were you on that Thanksgiving? We're always going to want to look back and get memories from that day. I want this Thanksgiving day to be as special, something that we can be proud of. This week, we didn't do a QA. and a It's Thanksgiving. We didn't know if people would be going out of town or whatnot. So my wife actually last night, last night. This is my playbook. She normally sleeps like a, snores like a bear. She's out like a light. Last night, she stood up and by iPhone light, wrote a bunch of questions and topics out. So I'm proud of her. Let's, let's see what she came up with. What do you got? What's the first thing? Welcome to MJ's Playbook for Thanksgiving. I'm super proud of this list. I am. I could, you should be. You worked hard on it. 
All right. Number one thing for couples. Okay. How do you decide what side of the family to spend the holidays with? So let's say you both your families are celebrating Thanksgiving on the same day and they're both fighting over like, no, come over to our house, no, come over to our house. And they're both in driving distance. My solution for this predicament is- Go stuff your face to two houses, bro. It's easy to solve. Problems easy to solve. Yeah. Easy to solve. Divide Get to, the day. Yeah. There's Divide to stuff your face. You're stuffing your face to two houses. Right. But you have to let them know in advance, hey, I'm going to Tommy's house first and then we're going to do our house second. Some families might start their Thanksgiving dinners as early as 11. Others don't do it till eight at night. But if you let them know like, hey, do you want us to come to your house first or do you want us to come last? Because it's going to be about three and a half hours per house. We are going to have to get up at like 3 p.m. And it's going to take us an hour to drive to the next spot. Be 3 really... p.m. You're starting way too late, bro. You ain't getting to two houses at 3 p.m. No, the second house. Like, so what I'm saying is that I would suggest that the first person that you choose knows what time you have to be out by. So then they won't be shocked and then they can adjust their serving time to make it like a 1 p.m. seating. And then if the next one knows that you're not coming until later, then they can shimmy their start time until maybe like more of a dinner seating. I think it's unrealistic expectations to think that you're going to do all that. I think that it's a breakdown is Christmas and Thanksgiving. You do Christmas at one, Thanksgiving at the other. So each family, each side gets a holiday. So you do one the Christmas here, Thanksgiving there. That's how I would do it. Or honestly, because again, I'm a fat ass, who's the better cook? If your side of the family is a better cook than my side of the family, we're going to your side. Yeah, if my side of the see, family is cooked, I just, I just see it as I'm like- I'm grateful an, for my wife. I'm grateful for my son. I'm grateful that we're all healthy. I'm grateful for everybody out there listening to the podcast. I'm grateful for uh, Thanksgiving. I can't wait to stuff my fucking face. And I'm uh, grateful for fantasy football because I think I'm going to win this week. And if I do, I might go to the playoffs. You're assuming the problem is that is you're assuming that you have the choice. So, Why wouldn't you? Because that's Aunt ridiculous. Sally, it, your families aren't going to fight over it. Like we're, we're adults, your families aren't going to say, "I want you to come here," "I want you to come there," because, unless you're newlyweds and it hasn't been established yet. Because Aunt Sally and cousin Mary are bringing the baby, so if you wait until Christmas, they're going to be back in Chicago and they're not going to be here. So you have well, to. Well, that's come. extenuating circumstances. You know that, that type of thing. Yeah, if if that happens, and you know that's an anomaly. It doesn't happen all the time, and they don't come. Mm. Or if they're coming every year then that's the reason that you go every year because it's the only time well, that you get to see Aunt Sally I'm talking about at surface levels if we're just talking about all Thanksgiving life, and Christmas you switch them up all my life every Thanksgiving there's always been a tug of war there's always been multiple places because we have a big family and not everyone can please everyone so I'm suggesting that if you can be up front if you're going to double book on that day let them know hey I'm going to be there. We're going to be there. We're going to have to arrive. Is this okay? Is this time frame okay? We can be there from boom to boom. And then you tell the other person, boom time to boom time. And then everybody knows. And they can well, make- it also depends on how those people eat. You know what I mean? Like if you're a buffet style where it's kind of the, the food's out, just come here whenever and you're eating all yes. day. Or if you're a sit down, you know, we're eating at three o'clock. Everybody's sitting down at the table and we're eating together as a family. That's different. For the most part, any of my Thanksgiving experiences have has been towards the buffet style aspect where it's kind of just come in, grab a plate and stuff your face. Great tips. So, and then if you're me, let's talk about when you're single and you're dating and your boyfriend- You're is single going- and dating? I don't fucking know. You just said if you're me, we're talking about it for me. Oh, yeah. I'm, and you're single and dating. Oh, wait. So in your mind, in your mind's eye, you still picture yourself single and you envision yourself. No, my next and thing you, is. And you're wishful. Your wishes would be to be single and going <laughs> to Thanksgiving by yourself. No, Got my, it. Go ahead. No, my next thing is when you're not married yet, you're like dating and your boyfriend's mom is having you come over and you're going to a place that or like your future sister-in-law's house. You're going somewhere where you're the plus one and you don't know them that well. Let me tell you how to win them over. First of all, you find out who the host is. Oh, it's his mom. It's his sister. Reach out to her. 
hey, thank you so much for hosting. What can I bring? He or she might give you a specific dish. You could buy it. You could go. And if you don't want to, you could always do dessert. And if nothing else, make sure you do not come empty handed. You can always get a nice plant like an orchid. My part two to this, what do you think so far? So far, so good. My part two is when you're going to someone else's family, dress appropriately. Do not wear your, what do you like to call them? Your titties ch- out, your titties out shirts. The heels. Fuck me pumps. The cha-cha. Cha-cha heels, fuck me pumps. Do not wear cha-cha anything heels, fuck me. Don't have much. your cans hanging out. Dress like on the wholesome side of your vibe, of your style. We've already talked about how it's important to know how to dress for where you're going. But when it's somebody else's family, it's somebody else's turf, go innocent, conservative, wear something that's not going to be like clomping around the house if it's hardwood, like a soft bottom shoe, something that's not going to make you feel like shit if you're going to pick up a little baby or a little dog and you're not going to look like basically clumsy and uncomfortable. And I'm going to speak to this as men, for the men out there that are listening. I don't want to speak to women. I'm going to say that they're more dignified than to have to worry about this. But with the consumption of a whole bunch of turkey and all the other things that go on at a turkey dinner and Thanksgiving, the bowels get murking. Ew. Yeah. There's a lot of farts. Take an emotion. That come with the oh, Thanksgiving. Bring a little, like, a, a travel pack of, like, Pepto-Bismol? No, you're not going to get gas. It's not, it's just, it's, you're just going to fart and you're going to, you know, you're going to poop. Gas is fart. No, but like you're making it sound bad. I'm talking about it's beautiful. It's beautiful gas. Ooh. Like the, it just <laughs> makes you feel relieved. But if you're you going go over outside, a, if you're going you over. You better say you left something in the car. That's why what I'm saying. If you ain't with, there's no rings on fingers and we ain't family yet. And it's just introductions. You got to be cognizant <laughs> of that, fellas. Oh, yeah. You got to be like, all right, <laughs> where am I going to fart? Is there any old relative that like, you know, I could blame it on? Like okay. some, it's like, okay. yeah, is it like, is there a room in the house? Like, is there a bathroom that's off the beaten path? Yes. That maybe Find I that, can disappear and no one's going to, no one's going to be like, yo, where the fuck Tommy go? And then when I come out, the whole fucking room stinks and they're like, oh, Tommy's stinks. Tommy's going to so, get to the house the day before and be like, excuse me, can I just do a quick uh, now, I could scout? say I could say don't really eat. But man, it's Thanksgiving, bro. And if you don't have a backup meal planned, if this is your only Thanksgiving meal, that's like misery. So you have to eat, but just be conscious of the fact that the bowels, you know, at some point you're going to be crop dusting in the room. And, you know, the good thing about turkey, for the most part, they're the silent ones. You know what I mean? So you can kind of blame it on someone next to you. But every now <laughs> and then you'll pop off one like a geyser in well, Yellowstone. And it's like, whoa. I'm, I will take this opportunity to say that you have never embarrassed me at a Thanksgiving. Yeah, because I blame it on other people. Just give them the look. But, you know, just say it first. Like, ooh, who did that, Uncle? Oh, Uncle Sam, was that you? Oh. But you know what? Ooh, Vita. If you're, if you, <laughs> on the other hand, if you are married and there is a ring on it. Then blame you, your wife. You can still be nice and polite and dignified and hold that fart till you go outside, you know, and, and recuse yourself, excuse yourself from the table. Yeah, I, 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 I got to go outside, folks, and shit my pants. Um... What other poignant thoughts did you come up with? And the last one is brace yourself. You're going to be nervous. Brace yourself. There's going to be tension. Brace yourself that if you are meeting, your why holidays, are you making, your why are you, holiday picture what? sounds great. What? If real Norman Rockwell, dude, what? you're going to be nervous. There's going to be you're tension. You're not going to be nervous when you're meeting someone's family <laughs> and you're going to somebody else's house. No. No, not, yes, that, you are. not that quick. Not tension. Tension thinks that like you better bring a knife. A fight could break out. You know what I'm saying? Like tension. What the fuck's going on? No, I mean, it's the holidays. There's fucking even when you're at home, you're like getting ready, like all of a sudden you're gonna have a bad hair day. You're not gonna find matching socks. Oh my god, this is so great. What's gonna happen? They're gonna take your fucking turkey away? You believe this bitch came to my house without matching socks? Get out! Get out. You know what I mean? Like, what's? I don't understand. What's, okay. what's going to happen? Take out the word tension, okay? That's fine. Okay, okay. Tommy. Okay. All right, Tommy Tension. Just brace yourself that you're going to have some jitters. You're going to someone else's house. It's not like you can be Al Bundy and stick your, house before. I, I don't stick your hand down so, someone's... So crazy to you, me. Okay, think about Al Bundy. At Ted, Bun- Ed Bundy? Ed no, Bundy. Ted Bundy. <laughs> Ted Bundy. <laughs> Ted Bundy he used to come <laughs> home and stick his hand down his pants after he murdered somebody. It was a hard day of murdering. No, no, no. Yeah. Ed Bundy. Uh, Al Bundy? Yeah, Ed Bundy. Which one? Jesus. 
like I said, bro, a fucking cartoon character. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Just wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Here we go. Not everyone is Al Bundy who's going to have one hand down his pants and the other one, you know, on the couch of his house watching. Like, sometimes you care to make a good impression and you want to... And I just want to say, like, the best thing is to, like, get ahead of it. In the beginning of our relationship, when I didn't know you that well, every morning of a holiday, you would be on your phone because you were sending all of your friends and family back east the happy 4th of July, Memorial Day, Christmas, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy, yes, I, I do that every... I didn't know I, I that, that you now. were doing that in the beginning. I didn't know. All I knew was that we woke up in bed together and you were on your phone for like a while because... They were not here. We weren't going to see them later. And you were putting in the time to say, I have to say happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas to all of my friends and family before I start my my day. Well, Be they've sent it to me too. You know, I might have woken up to it. You know what I mean? They're back east. I'm a, So now I'm responding and we're talking. So yeah, like that's how I think you know, most sweet. holidays start off for me. I think it's sweet and I think it's really touching and I think it's part of the ceremony that you stand on that you taught me something about holidays being important and significant because that is a time that you do go out of your way. That's going to be a time where you're probably sending your friends, kids, some presents. We're making out Christmas cards together for the first time as a married couple. Those kinds of ceremony that you like to stand on, to me, that makes us stronger if like you know what the other one is doing like hey i'm gonna be nervous because you're coming with me i'm not used to it you used to be a bachelor maybe you used to have other girls that didn't quite know what to do or if it's a guy like there's gonna be some amount of pressure and nerves and if we talk about it a little bit in advance then maybe we'll have more fun that day. Maybe we'll have more fun on Thursday. Yeah. I, I, I don't and by the way, some people hop around and go to a lot of places. And I hope that if you drink, you Uber. Definitely if you drink, you Uber. But, you know, going into what you said, I, I'm a big... Or have a designated driver. I'm a big fan of, you know, letting... But don't you like those points that I made, babe? Not really. And there was a bunch of points, and they went in a hundred different directions. I don't have my conversation compass today. Normally, I could, if I, if I have it, I could, you know, keep up with you and know where you're going. But you just went in a whole different lanes. Oh. I don't know. But I will agree with you on this. I am a big fan of the pageantry of a holiday. Thanksgiving, it's in the name. I joke around about the food, but it's not about that. It's about really just being a thankful and being appreciative of what you have. And, you know, any of those people that I reach out to when I text, I'm appreciative and thankful for all those people in my life. I'm appreciative to have you in my life. Uh, you know, I'm real grateful. Ever since I had my kid, uh, it's opened my eyes to a, a world of being truly grateful that, you know, we're all healthy. We have each other. You know, he's the light of my life. And you are responsible for bringing him into the world. So I'm so appreciative. And if I don't tell you that more, I should. But at Thanksgiving is the time of year to tell all the people in your life that matter to you that they matter because one day they might not be there. And I promise you from experience, you're going to regret not being able to tell that person how much they mean to you. Yeah. My last Thanksgiving with my uncle, I didn't know it was going to be. Um, Perfect example. Yeah. But I'm so grateful that I had it at my house and that it was like a big, big affair and that we did it. Yeah. He got shit faced with your mother. No. I had she... to carry him out to the car. Oh. I had to carry him to the car. I mean, we want to like, tone it down a little bit with like when we speak of the angels no they had a great time it was hilarious they were smoking pot they were drinking they were drinking like it was great they were rolling on the floor it was hilarious that was a very 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 fun thanksgiving like i said nobody's a better at a, at a party than darth vita you know she lets her guard down and she starts she tries to enjoy herself and she's not just sitting there worrying about charger plates and shit like that if she lets her hair down and enjoys herself which usually comes with a partner in crime. I have in an this case, it was her brother. I have an idea. If we do decide to have Thanksgiving at our house this Thursday... Put mescaline in her food? I, Put MDMA in her food? I commit right now that I will set the table the night before. Just like Kathy Hilton. She said, like, set the table the night before. That's genius. Do not give yourself too much. She, when she arrives, she's not going to have anything to nitpick on. I'm going to be dressed before she gets there. Maybe I'll get a blowout the day before and so that I'll be like super duper ready. Okay, there you go. 
All right. So before we get out of here, babe, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for this year? I am grateful to your mom and my dad watching over us in heaven. I am grateful to the roof over our head. I'm grateful to this beautiful outlet where we get to talk to people and connect. I'm grateful to everybody in this room, thankful to everyone in this room. And I'm hopeful that you won't be annoying if you do the cooking. And I'm hopeful that you let me help so that you won't be tied to the cross thingy. And then my outfit looks really good and so does my hair and makeup. Thank you. All right. So that's it, folks. We want to wish all our listeners out there a very, 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 very happy Thanksgiving. And share some stories about your weekend so that we know everything and then we can talk shit about it next time. Yeah. Gobble, gobble, wobble, wobble. All the best and uh, happy Thanksgiving. KK, love you. Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of Till the Dirt with Tommy and MJ. We're so happy you're coming on this journey with us. It would mean so much to us if you would rate our show, give us five stars, leave a nice comment, and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all our new episodes. You could also follow us on all platforms at Till the Dirt with Tommy and MJ. See you next week.